the techniques of astral traveling are real keen because what it starts to do is it starts to make you competent in the spirit world. Most people go to sleep and they just off to la la land. They have a dream. You know, I was on the couch and then there was some feathers and then I then, you know, I was break dancing, then my grandmother came. Panic, what does that mean? I'm like, how the fuck would I know? <laughs> what it is is you want to astral traveling helps you to become more competent and more aware while you're sleeping. So to become more competent and more aware, you must astral travel. So one of the best books, get any book that speaks to you and looks good. But I'll tell you two books that I use that absolutely worked or absolutely did it for me. One book is called Astral Travel, and the subtitle is Your, Your Guide to the Secrets of Out-of-the-Body Experiences by okay. Gavin and Yvonne Frost. Yvonne, Y-V-O-N-N-E. Last name Frost, F-R-O-S-T. This is a little book. It's real easy, easy to read. They give you some technique, but they tell you more in this little easy-to-read book um, the mentality of the astral world. For instance, I remember them telling a story how you'll astral travel and you'll see, you'll start to, you, you can still see the earth plane as well. You'll be able to see the earth plane. And you'll see around church thousands of entities hanging around churches waiting for something to happen, waiting for something to happen. Mm -hmm. Because these people had this mindset that Jesus was coming, we're just waiting for this big thing to happen. When they die, nothing changes. They're still waiting around. Eventually, in the spirit world, they may say, they may say, well, God damn, ain't nothing happening. So they may look for, and then other entities in the spirit world can actually help them get out of that dimension that they're stuck in. Only when they step up and ask for it. No one can come and save it. So one of two things have to happen. You have to understand where you are and want to go to the next level. No one can come and teach you this. People often ask me, panic, why don't you go out and teach this? I'm like, no, this information people have to step to. You don't teach this. Same thing on the spirit world. And the, right. only, thing, the only other thing that's going to stop this is when this entire reality is over. That's when mm. everybody gets a go-home pass. And those who don't have a soul perish with this reality because if you don't have a soul, you are just as important as a plastic container. So plastic doesn't have an afterlife, neither does someone without a soul. So okay. we move on. Our light is then will be sucked and connected. The only thing real about you is your light, not your body. That's what lives forever. Knowledge or this studying this information enhances or brightens your life. So that's why you will be studying this life. So now the second book is called Astrodynamics, A New Approach to the Outer Body Experience by Robert Bruce. It's a bigger book. And he speaks, all the books I'm recommending, they talk in plain English. They don't try to be deep. A, a, a fifth grader can read it. And they don't go, they don't use so many references that you won't hear before. Astral Dynamics, Robert Bruce. He goes step by step on technique of what you can do, how you can do it. You could do this first, then when you feel you accomplished that, you could do this next, this three, this four, this five, and all of that kind of stuff. Now, I, at the time I was doing this, I had no idea what, what you call lucid dreaming was. Lucid mm. dreaming is when you're in the dream and you are totally conscious in your dream. Most yes, people can dream and just wake up and can remember what they can remember. Lucid dreaming, you are actually either participating in your dream, very active. Those are the most mm -hmm. powerful. When you are actually participating and you can see feel in a conscious of what you are making happen on the spirit world. And these things don't happen for your rent. These things, again, happen for higher revelations or things you are supposed to bring to the masses in this plant, a planet or, or something, in a, something pointing towards your total transformation. Now, mm -hmm. there is where you're the total conscious observer in your dreams, where you're observing these things to the point where you are actually uh, consciously or uh, consciously uh, weighing these things as opposed to I'm sitting there in the dream going, yeah, that's this, that's that. Okay, it's a lake. 
lake means dead water, so that means this is dead. Where you're, conscious, where you're actually participating in thinking and seeing what this dream means. Then when you wake up, you remember it thoroughly, and you're able to deduct, see what happened, and, and, it, and it's an amazing thing. And by doing astral traveling, you will get into the lucid dreams. And by knowing your symbols, by having lucid dreams, you will then be able to decode the symbols of your dreams to be a more holistic, well-rounded scientist, a well-rounded god and, and goddess that you're talking about, one that's actually going into the holistic part of yourself to bring back greater understandings of what it is you're studying. 